Alright, man, that's who this world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ in an ancient Paleo Hebrew tongue. You know, first and foremost, I'd like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and teach her well and are truly the overseers of Israel today. You know, secondly, I would like to give a big shout out to the Akazak, um, who I teach under out here in Greenville, South Carolina, the head of the Men of Israel camp. You know, I also like to give a shout out to the Akim across the four corners of the earth. That's you brothers. You know, that's our pushing and teaching this truth and sincerity. You know, the 100% truth, first and foremost. You know, and I'd like to give a shout out to you, Akwaf. Um, that's you sisters, man. Across the four corners of the earth, that sincerely um, believe and take hold into the law, statutes, and commandments, man. To y'all, I'd like to say Shalom, right? All right, it's the Octobot. You know, back to the spirit and probably how about Shemi Awasha. You know, first and foremost, how I write this out, this video is edifying. You brothers, you brothers and sisters, um, whoever you may be, are able to take from it and learn from it and be able to build off of, you know, uh, what I'm about, about to go into, you know, first and foremost. Um, but I would like to also, I'm going to give you a little, a, a, a little better example, understanding of what I'm going into, man. Uh, basically, you know, Lord just allowed me to, you know, take a big step, right? And this all goes into, as you can see by the title of the video, um, this is everything I'm saying goes into it, man. So just listen and uh, you'll understand. Yeah, I'm willing, right? So the Lord just allowed me to take a big, big, big step, um, a step of growth. Um, and it was my first time of, of this aspect that it's been such of a big step, you know, um, and it's a different, it's a complete different journey, you know, and I can't say, you know, I was happy about it, whatever, or not, you know, but to cut it short a little bit, um, I, it was on, on, on the, on the step that I was taking, you know, it was demons that came in that tried to, you know, fuck me up, that almost threw me off the edge, not almost threw me off the edge, but could have thrown me off the edge. You know, when I say off the edge, man, saying out of this truth uh, to where I could have been bugged out myself, right? Because this was a big step and I was not used to it, you know, and it was a, it was a big, 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 big change for me, right? You know, so off of that, demons would come and try to turn my head into thinking, you know, that I was done for, right? that I was done for, you know, my break, uh, the demons would fuck with me mentally and, you know, have me all over the place to where I was completely nervous. I thought the Lord had stripped me. Um, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm Salakim, Salakim, Salakim. The water, y'all, y'all, 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 the water, y'all, the water, y'all, y'all, the water, y'all, y'all, the water, y'all, the water, y'all, 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 y'all, the water, you know, you got to be strong in that mental state. And yes, I am strong, but they still came and I was like, oh, damn. And I had to realize what it was. And I realized it was a demon, man, that was trying to tear me away from this truth, man, to break me down. Right. But that's the point of the video, man. When things happen in your day to day life, no matter it being, no matter what it is, I'm not even going to give the list. No matter what it is, you know, mentally, physically, you know spiritually no matter what it is man you have to stand firm in this in the truth man in this truth man you have to stand firm you have to be confident in your steps that you're taking in this truth right and you can't let no no matter what it is knock you off of that knock you off of your confidence boost like knock you off of you know your confidence you know to your umph you can't let nothing knock you off of that, man. And I almost, and that's why I said I, I almost, you know, went off the edge because I almost slipped because I started to believe, uh, I started to believe some, you know, but it was wrong, you know, and the Lord showed me, you know, and I overcame it, man. That's why I'm able to speak about it. I overcame it and I stood firm because I almost was like, you know, dang, you know, maybe, you know, dang, the Lord is, you know, boom, boom, boom. But I, I, every time when I, I do, you know, anything to that nature, I take a step back. I first of all, I pray, and I stand firm in what I believe. And I, and I believe, Yahweh Bashmi Al-Shahad. 
I believe that, you know, I was a man of the Lord. I was one of the how about Shemal Shah's prophets. That's our teaching the 100% truth, right? I believe that and I stood firm in that and I prayed on it, man. And the Lord, like I said, showed me that it was a demon. And that goes into what I'm about to go into by having confidence. You got, you can't, you can't be whole in this truth without confidence, man. Because if you don't got confidence in what you do, man, when you, somebody could tell you, it, it, let's say if I didn't have my confidence and I didn't know that the Lord, you know, the Lord had me and the Lord was dealing with me, man, I probably, I probably wouldn't even be making this video. 10 times out of 10, I wouldn't be making this video, man. I probably would have, I don't know what would have happened. I can't say. But I stood firm in what I believe and I stood firm, you know, in, uh, with the name of Yahweh Bashim al Shah, man. And, and I overcame that demon, man. That, that demon of trying to fuck with my mind. And I stood firm and I had confidence in behind what I, uh, in my steps in this truth, man. Out of the years that I've been in this truth, man, I stood firm in it. And I know, Yahweh Shemel Shah, man, I'm with you, Yahweh Shemel Shah, and that's what it is. And Yahweh, and I know Yahweh Shemel Shah got it. But I wouldn't be able to do that if I didn't have confidence. And that's the point of the video, like I said before. That's the point of the video, man. You gotta have confidence, because if you do not have confidence, man, you can easily be knocked over. And, and be drug away off of not standing firm and having confidence of what you believe in. Right? Now I'm going I'm gonna to go to an account um with the uh, with the apostle Paul man in Philippians, right? Alright, we're gonna to go to Philippians. Um this is chapter one and I'm gonna start at verse five, right? It says for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing. What is this very, being confident of this very thing? What is this very thing? That's this truth, man. That's upholding this and having this wisdom knowledge and understanding, man. You got to be confident in it. You have to be confident in it, man. You think, you think the elder apostles of, of, of Great Millstone, you think they don't have confidence? <laughs> They do have confidence. That's why the Lord has had them had uh had the elder apostles going for so many years. Because they have confidence in what they believe in, man. And they stand firm in what they believe in, man. You can't stand firm on something you don't have confidence in, man. That's a fact. They have confidence in this truth, man. And that's the exact same thing the apostle Paul is just saying. You have to have confidence. What does it say? Being confident of this very thing, this truth, man. Right? Continuing on, verse 6, it says that he which had begun a good work in you, what is that good work? Here, let me, let me, matter of fact, let me finish a little bit. Slock him, slock him. I'm going to start from the top, then I'm going to go to the way down, then I'm going to break it down. Slock him. Being confident of this very thing, that he which has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. That's this truth, performing the truth. Continue to, uh, like, I'm going to use the other, the other positive great millstone once again. They are still been until, they're, they're still going until the day of Yahweh Shah's return, man. They, they've been in this truth, I think it's 30, 35, 30, 30, I'm going to just say 30 something years, right? Each one of the other apostles of great millstone has been in there 30 something years, man. And they're going to, and they're, by, by being confident in what they believe in and, they're performing that good work. That's pushing and teaching this truth, man. Pushing the name of Yahweh Bashim Shah. And they're doing that all the way up until Yahweh Shah's return, whenever that will be. That's what they're doing, man. But they can't do that if they don't have confidence, right? And that goes out to that goes out, you know, out to everybody else, you know, who who well if um I'm just saying everybody else that that the Lord has brought them to the hundred percent truth. Um, you have to have confidence, man. You have to have confidence in it, man. Or you're not going to be able to do thirty years plus. You know, if you don't have confidence in, 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 in your how much not sure what you believe uh, in this truth, man, you're not going to be able to do a year. Cause you just going. It's just. It's no point of you 
just a waste of time. The Lord is nine times out of ten going to deter you away because you don't even have confidence in what you believe. You don't even have confidence in Him. You don't even have confidence in our Heavenly Father and His Son, man. You can't do nothing without that. Nothing. Nothing at all. You can't do nothing without that confidence, man. You got to have some type of confidence. And that's exactly what the Apostle Paul is saying. Being confident in what, in what, he, in what he does, man. And being confident in what you do and pushing this truth and pushing the name of your by Shemel Shai. You got to be confident in that. Now, I'm going to jump down. Still in first, first Philippians, man. I'm going to jump down to verse 14, man. To verse 14, man. It says, uh, Philippians uh, 1, uh, 14, it says, And many of the brethren in the Lord waxing confident of my bonds. Basically saying, um, basically saying, brothers were waxing confident confident off of what the apostle Paul was doing off of his bonds that that's what he's doing off of off of him doing what brothers was getting confidence off of seeing him do it basically to to bring it to a simpler term so you know you can under, you um, can understand but that's what that's basically what that is they were waxing confidence off of the apostle Paul's work seeing him you know Stand strong in the name of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. No matter who came up against him, and no matter what the situation was, he stood firm in the name of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. No matter what, he stood firm. Even when, and actually, in this, actually, this was, um, I, that's why I jumped down because it goes, it actually goes into, you know, um, people going against him, people doing it just to get, to get to him. You know, it goes into all that. You know, I definitely would recommend uh, reading, you know, if you haven't, read through Philippians again, man. Beautiful book as well. Um, but but no matter what, man, the Apostle Paul stood firm and, and had enough confidence to not um, um, to not let go of the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. And brothers was waxing confidence off of seeing him do that. Off of his bonds. That's what that is, his works. All right? Let's continue on. Back to verse 14. All right? I'm going to start back from the top. It says, And many of the brethren in the Lord waxing confident by my bonds and much more bold to speak the word without fear. That's, you ain't going to be able to stand firm and, 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 and um, you ain't gonna be able to, you know, hit the highways and byways, standing firm and uh, prophesying the name of Yahweh by Shemuel and Shai and, and the depth of this place without confidence and without fear. You're not gonna be able to. You're not gonna be able to 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 to, to, to go to stand into. You're not gonna have enough confidence. You're not. Let me say it like this. You're not gonna be able to stand up to an Edomite's face and let them know. You know, the so-called white man is, is uh, the devil. The Bible speaks of and his kingdom. Babylon the Great, aka America, is gonna be burned, man. And uh, and, the, and these Edomites are going into slavery, man. You ain't gonna be able to do none of that, man, without confidence. It says, what is it at the end of verse fourteen? It says, um, uh, and much more bold to speak the word without fear. You're not gonna be able to do that, man. Without confidence, you're not gonna be able to do that. Being bold, saying that without fear, that's what men of the Lord do. That's what you see us do, you know. Uh, that's what you see what brothers do in, uh, in Great Millstone. That's what you see what we do um, in men of Israel camp, you know. Go out, hit the highways and byways, and, and prophesying the downfall of this place. The head of the camp says that at the beginning of every camp. We're back out here again to prophesy the downfall of this place, man. Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, man. You're not going to be able to do that and stand firm in that if you don't, got, if you don't have confidence, man. You're not gonna be able to do that. You're not gonna be able to, you're not even gonna be able to stand up there, man. You're not even gonna be able to stand up with brothers, man. You're gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna stand behind the camera or I'm gonna stand to the side and I'm gonna just, you know. You're not gonna be able to do none of that, man. If you're not standing firm in the name of Yahweh Shimia was shot, man. 
And that all ties into my point, man. You have to have confidence to do this work, man, to do this will, man. And if you don't have confidence, man, you're you're not hey man, you're not you're not gonna you're not gonna last long. You're not gonna last long, man. What did the Lord say? Um being a living sacrifice for him, which is our reasonable service. I roughly paraphrase, I think that's two scriptures that I just bought combined together. I'm not certain. Yeah, yeah, yes. But basically, roughly paraphrasing, that's what it is. You're not gonna be able to be a living sacrifice for the Lord, man. If you ain't got no confidence, man. If you don't, uh, you're gonna have fear. You're gonna be scared to do it. You're not gonna want to do it. You know. But men of the Lord are gonna stand up there on their two feet, let their nuts hang, and and, and and prophesy the downfall of this bitch, man. And that just is what it is. But like I said, man, you're not gonna be able to do none of that. Without that confidence, first and foremost. Man, but yeah, Ratsaza. The point was made. You brothers and you know, ultimately going into, you know, speaking to the brothers. Um, because the sisters, y'all definitely don't need to be fucking talking. Y'all need to sit your ass down. So going this video was definitely for the brothers, you know. I mean, but you know, the sisters, y'all still need to have confidence in in, in this in the truth too. So it does, it does apply to you as well, just not the part of prophesying and stuff, you know. But hey, man, like I said, man, yeah, how runs out of video was edifying. Your, um, you know, he was able to take from it, learn from it, uh, to to build off of it, you know. Hey, man, but it, like I said, once again, man, if you don't have that confidence, man. You ain't gonna last long, but man, if you had that confidence, you gotta have that confidence, man. You gotta be confident and, and be able to stand firm no matter the situation, no matter if, you know, like in my situation, if, you know, a demon try to come fuck with your head, or if you're, or in another situation, if your family try to come against you, or, you know, if you, uh, you know, Edomite is coming against you, or other nations coming against you, man, you gotta have confidence. You gotta be able to stand on your own, too, man, and know what you're saying is the truth, and know that you're gonna cut anything that they gotta say. Because this, these scriptures cut everything, man. Everything. But you got to be confident first. That's the first. That's one of the first steps, man. You got to be confident in it. If you ain't got no confidence, man, you're done. But if you got confidence, hey, man, you know. But like I said, man, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end it by giving our praises and honor and glory. Oh, it's like I'm going to go ahead and end it by giving our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Raka, Kodash, man. All right, man, with that, I'm in, man. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Brock, yeah.